We just finished a really epic tour at the Grand Egyptian Museum. Just getting to experience all this beauty. I mean, look at that. I brought them here today only as a warm up for what's gonna happen tomorrow. And before we leave the Grand Egyptian Museum, the biggest museum in the world, I'm gonna tell them that we're gonna go to Luxor and see even more of the mystery and the magic of ancient Egypt. Okay guys, I decided I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen tomorrow here because it feels pretty relevant to, to where we're gonna go, so. Don't look at me, man. I don't well, know what's happening. Don't look at The wheels on the bus go round, round, round. He's so cute. Okay, this was obviously... You see this man, I'm not sure what I'm this. Okay? This exceeded my expectation for the, you know, the, the artifacts. Wow. <laughs> he wins. <laughs> 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 Cut. Um, action. Obviously, you know, we got to see just a small portion of it and how fascinating all these artifacts are. Except tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to be going to the city that holds a third of all ancient artifacts in the world. Not ancient Egyptian. Third of all ancient artifacts in the world. And it's a city in the south, in the south of Egypt called Luxor. So we're gonna be <laughs> 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 so we're yes. gonna take a flight. Oh my god! We're flying. We're flying. We're flying tomorrow. We're flying tomorrow. So <laughs> it's gonna be a super early. It's gonna be a super early wake up. I have never been myself, but we'll have wow. to prepare the program. We're gonna see everything. <laughs> <laughs> the energy is high. <laughs> what is it? Four in the morning. Let's, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> the adventure begin. Hey, that the safety card. We have landed. Bye bye. See you. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yes. Are you excited? Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Welcome guys. Um, this is the vlog and we're going to the hotel. Did I do that right? No. Huh? We're not going we're not going to a hotel, are we? Yeah we are. Ah. <laughs> hey, welcome everybody to Habibi Tours. Wow. Right after Habibi Airline. Yes. <laughs> arriving at the board. Round of applause. Round of applause. Thank you. Nice. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna go to the most well preserved temple in Egypt and then for sunset we'll get on the Nile and do uh, like this is the, the beautiful part of the Nile. Like, Cairo is like the most polluted. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Thank you everybody. <laughs> Habibi Tours! Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 Did you say hi, everybody? <laughs> what? Hi. Thank you so much. It looks like a paradise. Wow. Oh my god. Actually, have a child. He's speaking to me in Arabic, and I don't understand. So he must just think I'm really dumb. <laughs> Is that Arabic? <laughs> that, was, that was nonsense. <laughs> He's gonna run around. He said he wanted to go swimming. All right, go run. So we gotta look at him. Everybody's getting ready, and we're gonna go out for our first, our first tour. We've just entered the Valley of the Kings. So, so many temples and so many different burial sites in this area. Well, we made it. Little kid me would be freaking out right yeah. now. Uh, what a privilege to be here. Yeah, as I said, like third of all ancient treasures in the world are in, are in this city, are in this like... And we're gonna huge. steal half of them. This is a heist. Thomas gets banned I from have Egypt for just saying that. What? We are in the waiting area about to go into the most well-preserved ancient tomb in Egypt. I'm really excited to see this. She's playing chess. Look at that. They discovered it 20 years ago and they only opened it 2016 and they only allow 250 people per day. This is 3,000. 
300 years old. Seven years, they're just like going at each corner, each bit, so that they just have it as, as preserved as possible. I love that I'm having this experience yeah, with you because I know you yeah. really appreciate, I really appreciate all of this. It. Yeah. For something thousands of years old, to feel like it was drawn yesterday is so surreal. Yeah, that's Egypt. That's yeah. the mystery of ancient Egypt, man. Like in the yeah. middle of the desert. <laughs> yeah, they built all of this. Yeah. How did they find this place? How did they find this place? There somewhere we can sit and process this for a second. Yeah, process <laughs> circle over here. I'm taking care of it. Everyone welcome. I mean, for me, because I'm Egyptian, it's the greatest sunset I've ever, I've ever seen, just over the Nile, you know, over the mountains back there, where just so much of ancient history was happened, you know. Okay, we're starting at 6 a.m. today. We're going to literally the greatest temple in Egypt. Welcome to Karna. <laughs> There's a movie from my childhood about this place and I was just so obsessed. I just feels feels so surreal to be here with my family and with my soul family all together to just oh my god I swear like no footage no footage will ever do this justice the scale is just unbelievable literally chills all over my body right now it just goes on and on and on the amount of detail here is insane all the way at the top of these massive columns. They're still colored. I don't know how you built this today, let alone 3,000 years ago. Wow. There's not one corner of this that isn't filled with a story. I'm tearing up from how awe-inspiring this is. Mm. I have never, I've never ever seen anything like what we're seeing right now. Mm. People always describe the scale of how, how high the columns are and how many there are, but I, you, you know, and I've seen this in so many movies and videos but you don't understand until you're here. Go 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 <laughs> just gets thrown in the air. <laughs> Whoa. The, the body of the dead, like this entire hall. Oh wow! Yeah. So this was like when someone's that when someone dies, they bring them in here to clean them up and prepare them for being mummified if they're a king or to just be buried. Wow. Yeah. This goes about f five meters underground, and then it goes and then it goes in. And he showed me like there's an entire pathway underneath the temple. Wow. That they used. So this is like. See, this goes and then and you can even see it from there. There's just pathways underneath. Holy sh! This can get more complex. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Because this wasn't enough. Yeah. <laughs> it also puts into perspective how much we don't know is here. <laughs> yeah. You're like, well, what buildings were this? Yeah. These blocks. Part all of these. All of it's really stepping into a different world. Good 
<laughs> How do you feel being Egyptian and seeing this? So proud. <laughs> proud. <laughs> proud. Yeah. is so in his feels right now. He's got his soundtrack on with his AirPods and he's just like living the dream. What's he listening to? <laughs> Good choice. So we're gonna do a little sunset sunset tour and get to have a really epic meal on the Nile. Wow. Where literally like this this was the reason the civilization just started. The the reason we saw all the mm. greatness that we experienced is because because of this. So Egyptians have such a deep connection to the Nile River because throughout history, throughout time we just knew that that's the reason things happened on this land. A round of applause for Omar's grit in this whole process. To, um, you know, have been put so much of himself on the line to pursue his dream and to now be back and gift us this experience just shows what kind of a human you are. I'm just super grateful for you as a brother and a friend and just blessed to, to, to be here with your family again. It couldn't be a better ending and start to a new, to a new beginning. Yeah. Wow, beautiful. Hello everybody, greetings from Paris, uh, hopefully our new home. Not hopefully. <laughs> it will be our new home. Tommy, Tommy's been spending the last few days looking for Yes House Paris 2.0. So if you are uh, somehow a realtor watching this who lives in Paris, please get in touch with Tommy. But I just want to say thank you for tuning in and watching both videos. Hope if, what, what's happening at the end of this video? What's happening? Uh, great question, Tommy. Thank you. We're giving away two nights at Hilton Luxor with the exact same itinerary, all the temples and everything that we visited. And uh, what would I do to get that? <laughs> Good question. Another good question, Tommy. We would love for you to answer the same question that we posed on the S theory video, which is, what was your first dream as a kid? So let us know in the comments. We're gonna be also going through the comments here and uh, along with announcing the winners from the S theory video at the end of March, we'll also be announcing who won this dream trip to Luxor. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all the love. This is an entirely new chapter that we're gonna be starting on the Seek Discomfort channel. Tommy, myself, and Stefan are going to be making a lot more videos here. So I hope uh, that you subscribe if you haven't and tune in for a new chapter in Yes Theory. We'll see you, uh, what, when? When are we seeing them next? I don't know, man. <laughs> we'll see you when we see you. <laughs> we'll see you when we get a place in Paris, so. See you next year. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We need, we need a place a lot sooner. Much love, we'll see you soon.